Hello, you guys, and welcome to tonight. Tonight is a very, very special evening where we have Archangel Michael, who's joining us tonight. He's going to be giving us a channeled message through Shweta Iyer, who is here, who is an energy healer. And we are also going to be talking about ways to connect with Archangel Michael. He is the life purpose angel. He also helps clear out negative energies, fears, phobias, all of that. Okay. So we're going to get into how exactly you can connect with him more and use him because he wants to help all of you on your life purposes. It's likely everyone who's dialing in, uh, wants to be more connected to their life purpose, wants some direction of where to go, what to do. You might be feeling confused, lost, disconnected. So we're going to we're going to help you reconnect tonight, okay? You guys can see I'm wearing blue because Archangel Michael's color is blue and purple. We'll talk about all of that stuff in a little bit. So uh, to introduce myself, my name is Aditi Ramchani. I am an angel intuitive marketing strategist and a confidence coach. So I help people who are entrepreneurs and who are spiritual to really get into their business, get out there, get their marketing in check, get their confidence in check, and start to make money in their businesses and live a life that really makes them feel a life of joy, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to Shweta. She's going to introduce herself, and then she's going to bring in Archangel Michael and, and channel him and bring a message for all of you live here tonight, and it's also for everybody who's watching the replay. Hi, Shweta. Hi. So thank you, Aditi, for uh, inviting me to this. Yeah. Um, I was in, my name is Shweta Ayer. I'm an energy healer, and Aditi is somebody that I have had the privilege and honor of working with through a lot of different things. And one of the things that I noticed was her connection to Archangel Michael. Now, Archangel Michael is an incredibly powerful archangel. He is the archangel. What are archangels? These are not just angels, not just people, not just angels who are um, assigned to us for normal day routine works. These are archangels are the arcs for the soul. Okay. So they create what is going on for your soul. So when you're connected to a certain archangel, it means you're connecting to the arc for your life. So, so for example, for Aditi, she feels really connected to Archangel Michael because she has a sense of mission with her life. Somebody else might have a sense of love or a sense of whatever else. But for her, it's her life purpose. Why does she feel this impatience? Because the archangel, the archangel is working on her, is working on her crown chakra. So she's constantly getting information and downloads. So one of the things that for her as her healer that I have been told to guide her is that she needs to go on an Archangel, Archangel Michael detox, which is you have too much information and energy that you have from Archangel Michael. You got to spread it. So some of you right now watching this are going to feel more connected to him. You'll feel a warmth in your body. You'll feel, you might feel a little dizzy. You might feel like, you know, I want to sit down and watch this, but something's making me want to get up and walk around. That is Archangel Michael's energy. All of that, you're starting to feel him. And so for Aditi, her life purpose is her mission. So she's always going to find the spiritual experiences, the life experiences that are going to get her there. And this is what each and every one of us needs to understand. Every time we're put in a situation or dealing with people or anything, you're only put in that because there's a lesson you need to learn. So as I become smarter and I realize that I'm only following the universal laws, the only thing that can happen is the universe will work with me very lawfully. So Aditi, I'm just gonna ask you one question before I start the guide message. What do you feel about Archangel Michael when you think of that, of that word? When you think of Archangel Michael, what is the word that comes to you very strongly? Close your eyes and just think about it. And please let me know. <coughs> I just feel uh, it's like urgency, dedication, focus. Like it's just like. <laughs> and how normal and natural does it feel to you? Like it's you, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's how it works. When something works with your soul, everything feels right whether it's being in love, whether it's being in business, whether it's being in a relationship, whether it's about money, 
it feels natural. So if you feel it's unnatural to have money, you will be unnatural at creating it, manifesting. It has to feel like it's you. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to let Archangel Michael speak through me. So please just understand that I'm the vessel and the messenger. I'm only allowing information to flow through me so you can receive this beautiful Archangel's energy. And Aditi, he wants you to know that you're going to receive him after I leave. So you will still be channeling it, but in a very different way. So what you get to have is an experience. How does an archangel work individually with each person? You know what I'm saying? Like how it's going to come through me is going to be very different than how it comes through Aditi, but it's the same energy. There'll be some similar ways. Okay? All right, guys. So what I want you to do now is just visualize that Archangel Michael. Wow. Okay. Everybody's feeling him. Everybody's feeling him. He's standing right in front of you. For some of you, he's sitting next to you because he feels closer to you. For some people, if he's on top of you, he's merging with you. He's becoming part of you. There you go. So now, close your eyes and visualize Archangel Michael standing in front of you. Take a deep breath in. As you take a deep breath, visualize Archangel Michael flooding your body with light. As you breathe out, your body feels comfortable. Take another deep breath and visualize the Archangel Michael flooding your body with light. As you breathe out, you start to feel comfortable. In this moment, anything that feels chaotic, troublesome, worrisome, let it go. And release it to Archangel Michael standing in front of you. Visualize taking all of that and putting it in a bag. But now this bag is too heavy. You can't carry it anymore longer. This bag can contain your fears, your anxieties, your depressions, your everything. The suicidal thoughts, the parts of you that don't want to be here. Everything, everything. Because Archangel Michael loves you. Loves you with everything. Archangel Michael is going to be spoke, speaking through me, so it will be in first person. So just remember, you're listening to the message. Hi, my angels. I know that today has been a very hard day. And the next few weeks will continue to feel challenging. But it is more important now than ever to call on me. A, f a few of you will discover your life purpose during this time. A few of you will want to move on from where you are stuck. Remember, you're never put in a situation that you didn't have everything that you need to deal with it. But you have to be in a state of non-resistance and the art of allowing. The universal laws are created to keep a balance. The societal laws were created to keep you trapped because without seeing the contrast, you will never know where to turn to. So if you're having a lot of difficult experiences in life, just remember, easy will feel just as good. You have a lot of questions about money, about uncertainty, about insecurities. It's okay. Give it over to me, and I will release it back to you as what you need it for. All right, guys, so slowly, just very slowly, take your time coming out of it. There you go. Okay, so. <laughs> That's awesome that someone came and said that. That means that there was a very powerful force drawing him in here, but his ignorance couldn't help it. 
Uh, so that was good. That was a confirmation that it was Archangel Michael. How was it for you? I got so emotional. How does your heart feel? Mm, very open. You feel softer. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't have any Kleenex near me. I'm like. <sighs> okay. So what I want you to do now is connect to my heart. Okay. And then you're going to bring him into your heart. And I will tell you when to stop. So you can pick up. So actually, everybody who's watching this, you want to feel like a micro. This is what you want to do. I'm going to tell Aditi how to lead the process. And you will follow her. And you'll feel him. Why is it so important to feel him? Because why not? Don't you want to feel good? Invite him in. Okay. So, Aditi, close your eyes. As you close your eyes, connect to my heart. Or rather, connect to your own heart. Feel the love that is waiting to pour out for you. All this energy waiting for you when you're looking at everybody else. There you go. Now visualize all that love that is there in your heart is just Archangel Michael sitting to show himself. Feel him becoming one with you. Now take a few deep breaths, breathe in. Breathe out. Take another deep breath in and deep breath out. Now just let Archangel Michael completely finish his merging. Take one last deep breath and just let it melt away everything as you breathe out. Good. Slowly. Start to open your eyes when you're ready. Don't rush through this. Very good. <laughs> so I'll give you guys, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I was almost not able to do this uh, blab because something else came up. So I called Aditi and I said, you know, I, I know that I said I was going to do it, but I think something else came up. And then at that moment, the Facebook notification that she was doing this, and she mentioned me, I realized she's like, Aditi is going to be like, you better show up. I don't care. And I realized she's like, I can do it, Michael. You better show up. I need you for the show, right? It wasn't about me. She doesn't care. <laughs> Somebody else was going to tell her. Yeah, I can tell her. She'll be like, okay, fine. I can find a replacement for Swatha. She'll be like, I'm going to find a replacement because I told her at 640, right? So I just thought it was really funny. I was like, oh, shit. Sorry, I don't know if I can try. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. You know, what's, what's amazing is with spirituality, you start to understand that these personal feelings are an indication of something more universal. Okay? Now, how are you going to understand more of the universal? You have to tune in the next time she does this show because I will be doing a channel message again. But if you don't tune in, you'll miss out. So really, what do you have to lose? All right, so I'm going to hop off here. Aditi, you have Archangel Michael with you. I leave him with you because you are going to send and grow everyone. So thank you for your role. Really love you and respect you for everything you do. And I will be watching. So bye, guys. For coming. All right, you guys. Welcome. And hope you are able to feel and connect to Archangel Michael's energy through Shweta's guided message. I know I felt it super strongly. You may have seen me crying on the camera. Um, I want to give you guys a little bit of an introduction as I walk through kind of tonight's journey, okay? So Everything I say today is guided by Archangel Michael. So everything that I'm saying is coming really through from him, okay? So I want to start by saying that I was not spiritual at all or religious or any of that for pretty much my entire, my most of my life. It wasn't until maybe like 
seven years ago that I kind of started venturing into just kind of the self-development world where I was just trying to be happier. It was just that search for happiness that kind of got me on the path. And that may be the same for many of you, or maybe you're just starting on the path. Wherever you are, know that you've been guided to be here today on this blab. If you're here today, it's not a coincidence. There is a message for you or many messages that are going to be communicated to you tonight and the way you'll know if the message is for you is that it'll really resonate with your heart you'll feel yourself you'll feel your body open up you'll feel yourself get lighter you'll be like ah that was for me that message was for me okay that's how you'll know and um i remember i went to louise hayes you can heal your life was the first book that i was kind of introduced to the whole self-development self-love world in my search for happiness and um i think a couple years after that is when i was introduced to the angels okay um i didn't believe in angels i didn't really know what this whole world was i thought it was weird i was just like yeah like i'm hindu this is not like for me and the funny thing was i i don't even consider myself religious i've never really gotten into any of the hindu things growing up so I've always felt very disconnected from everything. So for me to claim that I'm Hindu and I don't believe in angels was just funny because it wasn't even that. Um, but I think a part of me was scared because I didn't know. I, I think maybe part of my soul knew like what this meant, that this was going to drastically change my life, turn everything upside down for me. And uh, when I finally did learn about the angels deeper, I went to Doreen Virtue's, one of her workshops. If you don't know who Doreen Virtue is, she's very well known um, in the community about teaching angels, okay? So she's taught that, you know, this is, angels are non-denominational. It's not related to any religion or anything. And angels are available to us all the time to help us here while we are on, while we are on earth okay um all of us have been born with guardian angels by our side always there protecting us guiding us leading us the way you know when weird coincidences happen things show up messages happen um it feels all random until you start paying attention to the signs and start paying attention to what's really going on and when i started actually actively connecting to angels and calling them in is when i found them talking back to me and that's kind of what sort of blew my mind. And, you know, ever since then, they've been leading me on my path of where to go next. You know, while I'm on earth, I've been unhappy in certain situations is when I've kind of went searching for answers. And one specific message that Archangel Michael said to me before the blab was that if you're feeling a sort of emptiness inside, or if you've felt it before, that emptiness is there so it can actually open up a space inside of you for the angels to communicate with you. So the emptiness is also serving you because it's allowing divine guidance to come in. If you didn't feel empty, it would be harder for you to communicate with them and for them to communicate with you, okay? So if you're feeling an emptiness, know that that is actually an open telephone line to the angels, okay? And I was reading a book by Kyle Gray. Um, I think it's called Angels Whisper in My Ear. And I remember doing one of the meditations inside of the book. And at that time, you know, angels was very like a random thing to me. Like I was like, do they really exist? Where are they? Whatever. But when I started connecting with them, you know, the signs just started coming and I couldn't ignore them. They were just too freaky. Uh, I remember I had tried one of Doreen um, Virtue's um, life purpose angel cards and I was really feeling confused about my life purpose and what my next steps were. And um, I found, I, I got a notification on my iPhone that said, uh, life purpose cards available for $6.99 on sale. So I was like, I don't know what this is, but I'll give it a shot. I'm interested in learning about what my life purpose is. And so I had done, I opened it, I opened up these angel cards. Um, you know, here's like one of the decks here. I have a bunch of decks here. So what angel cards are is they allow you to communicate with the angels. It's basically, it gives you a medium for them to connect with you. So instead of them showing up at your doorstep and you flipping a shit and freaking out, they can talk to you through these cards. Okay, so that's what these angel cards do. 
Um, and when I asked about my life purpose, there's three cards that came up. And the three cards were um, counselor, um, public speaker, and teacher. I think that was the, oh, author, sorry, author. One was about writing, one was about teaching, and one was about speaking. And I almost fell off my freaking chair because just that year, just maybe six months before I did this reading on myself, I just launched a blog called ilivewithjoy.com. Just maybe nine months before that, I had the idea of a book. And I had never, ever thought about writing a book ever in my life before that. But I just it just popped into my head. And I was like, I want to write this book about something, or whatever it was at the time. And I, I felt like I wanted to speak on stages when I went to the I Can Do It conference. I was like, I feel like I want to do this. So this is how the messages come, you guys. They're very subtle. It just feels like a, a, a thought. It feels like a knowing. It feels like this little nudge. And that's how you know that the angels are coming in and communicating with you. That's how the messages come through. So when these three cards said those exact three things that I was like feeling like I was meant to do, and I had barely talked about it with too many people, I almost fell on the ground. So I was like, wait, how do these like these cards know what my life purpose is? That makes no freaking sense. Like they're literally just like just cards. And I'm just like, how how the hell, how is that possible? So that's when I started believing that there's something bigger out here. There's something out there. And I think it has answers for me. So hell, I'm going to start communicating with it more. And, um, you know, and then I felt called to, I didn't feel called to it per se, but I was like, it'd be really cool if I could actually see an angel, you know? I only felt them and I was getting these messages, but I was like, I really wish I could see it. And the first angel that I ever saw, not a coincidence, was Archangel Michael. I was on a train to New York City. And, I, and that day I was actually getting my Angel Car Reader certification from Doreen Virtue herself. And um, I was doing this meditation from Kyle Gray's book and that was it. I saw Archangel Michael in my third eye and I had never experienced anything like this before. And my eyes just welled up in complete tears. And I was like, wow. And I had read about how overwhelming the feeling is when you see an angel or feel an angel, but actually feeling it was just another level of an experience. And I was like, wow. And, you know, I was crying earlier when uh, Shweta was doing the Archangel Michael channel and I felt that exact same emotion because, you know, Michael and all the other angels, they love us so much if it's amazing to me if we were able to see ourselves through an angel's eyes it's amazing how much love that we would feel for ourselves and how different our lives would be if we felt that love for ourselves and it's hard right we're on earth there's all these things there's all these people there's all these there's media etc that makes us believe something differently about the world and about ourselves than is actually the truth. So angels really connect you back to your truth and back to who you really are, you know, connecting you to the divine. So since today is about Archangel Michael, I'm going to talk about him primarily. And um, I didn't know at that time that Archangel Michael was going to be the main angel that I was going to be working with and that he was going to become my boss. Um, I always say that I work for Archangel Michael because I help people with their life purposes. And that's what he's ignited me to help do here on earth and help him do. So that's kind of why we're doing this today. So you guys can be introduced to him and you guys can call him in yourself. Okay. So he helps you get on the path of your life purpose. He helps you work through your fears of living in your life purpose. And he helps you cut out any negative forces and energies that are blocking you from your life purpose, okay? Because the more we step into our light, the more darkness can come up for different reasons, okay? It can come up because it needs to be healed. It also comes up because darkness always wants to block out light. But it's our job to shine even brighter when that happens so that so the light can overtake that darkness. 
okay? And, you know, so that first day when I saw Archangel, so I, I heard Michael. This is Michael. Hi, I'm Michael, right? And I was like, Michael who? <laughs> I was like, are you Michael, my guardian angel? Or are you Archangel Michael that I've been hearing about and reading about? And I couldn't tell. I tried connecting. And, and, and the way you guys can connect with the angels and Archangel Michael is literally just speaking to them in your mind. You can say it out loud. You can say it in your mind. Um, they can hear it all, okay? And I was like, Michael, give me a sign um, of who it is. Is it you, Archangel Michael, or are you my guardian angel? Who are you, okay? So I was waiting for a sign to give me what the answer was. So I'm telling you guys this story so you can see how you can find your own signs, okay? So I went throughout the day. I got my um, angel card certification, went through the day, did all of that stuff, okay? This is very magical. Get ready for this, okay? Uh, it was the end of the day. Pretty much everyone had left, and they were cleaning up, okay? So in the back room, they had a table where they were selling all of Doreen Virtue's stuff. They were selling her cards, her books, and all of that. Okay. And I was standing there charging my iPhone because I had to get on the train and my phone was completely dead. I was charging my iPhone and I found, um, sorry, I didn't find anything. A guy basically walked up to me. Okay. And he worked for Hay House. So he worked for the people who put this event on. He said, Hey, I'm cleaning up. I had this extra deck out. And it's already open, so we can't sell it. And you can have it. I'm just going to gift it to you. Can you guys imagine what that deck was? I'll show you. This is the deck that he gifted me for free because it was unpackaged. But it's not just that. Why is it so significant? Because I asked for a sign. I said, Archangel Michael, was that you I saw earlier? You love that deck, right? Me too. Was that you I saw earlier or were you my guardian angel, Michael? So when I got this, I almost shat in my pants. I was like, if this isn't a sign, I don't know what is. Like, that is ridiculous. So I couldn't even make that shit up. I was like, okay, well, clearly <laughs> that's a sign and a very clear message that I saw Archangel Michael today. So that was my first encounter with any angel and specifically with Archangel Michael. Little did I know then that I'd be working so closely with him, like I mentioned. But so I started to learn more about him, okay? So Archangel Michael, his main colors are purple and blue. So whenever you want to connect with Archangel Michael, you can visualize blue light and call it in. You can also visualize purple light, okay? Both of them are his colors. Now, if you, um, one, one main thing he does is he really protects you. Now, all of us who are on here, a lot of us are empaths and we're sensitive beings, right? So what happens is people's energies affect us very strongly. Now, now not only in our everyday um conversations or moods, etc. it also affects our life purpose. So today we're gonna to be focusing a lot about our life purpose, okay? Because we want all of you guys to step into your life purposes because that's really where your happiness lies. Your happiness lies when you follow that intuition, when you follow that guidance of what your soul made a contract to do while it's here on this earth. So every time you veer away from your life purpose is when you're going to not feel good you're not gonna feel happy you're not gonna feel in the flow you know you're going to feel that emptiness bigger than ever okay and so whenever we are working towards a life purpose we want to call in Archangel Michael daily to protect our energy because other people's fear can come in to our mind and our bodies okay even for myself, I know I have a lot of fear of entrepreneurship, a lot of money blocks, all of that stuff sitting in my energy because uh, from my family, from my childhood, from people's reactions, you know, when I tell them I have my own business and et cetera, whatever they may say, I may absorb their fears and it becomes my fear, which actually blocks me from living in my purpose because, you know, there are days where I'm like, 
I can't do this. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to make money. I don't know where, where, to, where to go next. And then I have to connect back to myself and back to Michael. I'm like, Michael, show me what's up. Why do I feel crazy? And many times he's like, girl, clear out your energy. Okay. So he helps you clear out your energy. And if you'll see, he, ha he holds a sword. Okay. That sword he uses to cut cords with people or energies or situations that are no longer serving you. And it's so important for us to connect with Michael to help us clear that stuff out. So if you're at a place where you're still trying to figure out your life purpose, then you want to use him to help you clear out all those fear energies so you can hear better the divine guidance that's going to put you on the path of where you're meant to go and where you're meant to be. Okay. So what I want to do is so we can connect even more to him tonight. We're going to do a vacuuming exercise right now. And we're going to clear out all of your fears together. Okay. So now whether you're here live, whether you're watching the relay, it works no matter where or what you're doing. Okay. So if everybody could just get comfortable, we're going to call him in right now and clear out everybody's energy, okay? We're going to clear it out now so we can connect to him deeper. And towards the end, I am happy to do a couple Archangel Micro readings, okay? So you can get a message directly from him. All right, so let's go ahead and close our eyes. And what I want you to do is go ahead and remember this process so you can do it on your own every day. And I also have a recording that I can put together for you guys of this, okay? All right, so what I want you to do is if you can, go ahead and put your feet flat on the ground. And I want you to go ahead and call in Archangel Michael again. And we're going to say, Archangel Michael, please clear out all of the energies that are sitting around and within me that are no longer serving me and are not for my highest good. Clear out all of the fears, all of the phobias, all of the anxieties that are blocking me from my life purpose and that are blocking me from hearing your divine guidance. Now go ahead, visualize the blue light, and I want you to visualize the blue light coming in through your bottom of your feet. Now the blue light is in your feet, washing back and forth, clearing out all of your fears of taking a step forward and moving forward in your life, in your life purpose, in your business, whatever that is for you. Moving forward typically means taking scary action. Allow Archangel Michael to clear out those fears of taking scary action. And now allow the blue light to travel up your leg, both of your legs. Allow the blue light to travel into your thighs. The blue light is washing up and down, clearing out the energies. Allow the blue light to now travel into your bottom. at the base of your spine. Also clearing out your chakras as we're moving this blue light through your body. If you're feeling some heaviness, just breathe it out as it gets cleared out. Allow the blue light to come in through your stomach. Washing through your stomach, absorbing all the negative energies, all the fears that you have to do this alone because you don't have to do this alone. Allow the blue light to travel up into your chest, clearing out all of the energies of giving too much because it's time to bring that energy back and give to yourself. We've spent way too much time dedicated to everyone in our lives. It's now time to bring that energy back, back to us. 
so we can serve ourselves so that we can serve the planet. We have to have all of our energy with us in order to serve the world, okay? So we want to bring that energy back towards us. Allow that blue light to come into your shoulders, wash through your shoulders. Allow Archangel Michael's energy to take away the burden that you're carrying on yourself to figure this out on your own. You do not have to do this on your own. Archangel Michael is here to infuse with you so he can help you see which way to go next. All right, allow the blue light to now travel down your back. Wash up and down all the feelings of not feeling supported, not feeling supported by those around us, not feeling supported by society. Allow the blue light to absorb those feelings of not feeling supported because guess what? The universe is here to support you. The earth is here to support you. Visualize yourself laying down on the grass on Mother Earth and allowing the earth to support you. Now allow the blue light to come back up your back, up into your shoulders, down your arms. Allow the blue light to tingle in your fingertips. Feel the blue light traveling up and down your arms. Again, clearing out the energies to balance out your feminine and your masculine. Your doing versus your receiving and allowing. Allow this blue light now to travel up into your throat. Clearing out all those energies of not being able to speak your truth. The more you're going to be stepping into your life purpose means the more the truth you're going to have to speak. There's no more room for hiding. There's only room for truth. This truth is going to bring you more happiness because it's going to allow you to be in alignment. It's going to allow you to serve more. When you work with people in your life purpose, you have to be able to speak your truth in order to deliver the best that you can deliver. Then allow the blue light to travel up into your head and clearing out your ears so that you can hear the divine guidance louder and clearer and with more direction. Now allow the blue light to come up into your mind, clear out your third eye so it's less foggy, so you can allow the soul to show you the visions that it's been trying to show you all along. Allow yourself to be open to the messages that come in from your soul. Remember, Archangel Michael talks to you through your intuition and through your soul. The messages that you are getting are answers to your prayers. They may feel very subtle at this moment, but the more you connect, the louder they become. Allow the blue light now to come up through your crown chakra, up through the top of your head. Go ahead and visualize Archangel Michael holding a vacuum above your head. He is holding it in the non-dimension. So you may not be able to see it, but it is there. Just go ahead and visualize it. He's now going to suck out all of the blue energy that has now absorbed all of the negativities and everything that is no longer serving you. All right, now allow the blue light to travel from your feet up through your legs, up through your stomach, up through your chest, down your back, up to your shoulders, down your arms, back up to your throat, up into your mind, clearing out all the debris, and it is leaving your body into the vacuum in three, two, one. Go ahead and breathe out all the last debris that are no longer serving you. Feel free to shake it out. 
and slowly open your eyes when you are ready. Now, if you are feeling a little dizzy, a little loopy, that is all normal, okay? The more we connect to these higher powers of the universe, we will feel a little crazy, okay? But guess what? That is the space that you're gonna connect to to get messages for yourself and your life purpose and next steps in your life, in your business, and etc. Okay, now how the messages come when Archangel Michael communicates with you. Now, the first thing I want to say is no angel can come in and communicate with you unless you give them permission. Because we have free will on this earth and we can choose what we want and don't want, they can't interfere in our lives unless we call them in. Okay, unless it's an absolute life and death situation and you're not meant to leave right now then they come in without your permission but but they cannot come in without your permission otherwise so what i want you to get into the practice of doing is calling in the angels every single day okay not only in times of extreme need but also for the little things because that will help you build a deeper connection you can ask archangel michael for help with anything um and any angel for that matter okay when I worked in the corporate world and I had issues with figuring something out with my project, I would call in the angels and be like, look, I'm really stressed out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing and I really need your help right now. Can you please show me the way? And within, sometimes within minutes, but all the way up to three hours, an answer will come. My, um, my questions always get answered unless I'm not meant to get an answer right now, and I trust that as well, okay? If you're calling in on the angels and you feel like you're not getting an answer, there's two reasons that may be. One is because you didn't um, pay close enough attention. Sometimes it's very subtle. Sometimes the messages come through other people, okay? It may be that a friend or a stranger said something to you that was exactly related to what you were just asking about. And you'll be like, whoa, that's kind of weird. That's your message, okay? The messages can come from advertisements. They can come through other people. They can come through um, something you see on Facebook or Instagram. It, the angels will use whatever medium they need to use to get your attention, okay? Sometimes you can give them a time limit, right? Sometimes I'll be like, look, I need to know by noon tomorrow what I need to do about this situation. Okay, angels, and long and behold, I get my answer before 12, okay? So you can call Archangel Michael. To, I call in Archangel Michael with my business because he does help with life purpose. So you can call him in for that, all right? You can ask him, what are my next steps, Michael? Where do I need to go? Now, the thing is, he can't give you your entire picture because it's probably going to freak you out, okay? So what he'll do is he'll give you a very simple step, okay? It might be contact this person. It might be, um, you know, write this type of Facebook post. Even my Facebook posts sometimes are guided by the angels, okay? Pretty much everything I do is guided, because whenever I try to do things on my own and I think I know better than the universe, the universe gives me a big old smack in the face or it just doesn't work, whatever it was I was trying to do, okay? Like this blab, this was not part of my marketing plan at all. <laughs> and Archangel Michael said, do this. You need to do a blab and you need to talk about me. I need to tell people how to connect with me. I need to help people step into their purpose. I said, okay, and here I am listening to exactly what he said, okay? So you want to ask him for guidance and you want to listen to the steps that you're hearing. They will be subtle, all right? Now, if you guys want to learn a lot more about Archangel Michael, there's this amazing book by Doreen Virtue called The Miracles of Archangel Michael, all right? She talks about seeing him, hearing him, getting messages from him, and there's lots of stories in here and how you can connect. 
Now you can call in Archangel Michael for so many different things, okay? He basically protects, he guides, he heals, and he repairs. And this includes for technology. So as you guys are working on your businesses and you're having technology issues, you know, especially doing MR, you can call in Archangel Michael to help you resolve that or you just trust that this is not meant to be right now, okay? Yesterday, I was trying to do a periscope and it wasn't working for the life of me. And I took that as a hint from the universe that I'm not, to, I'm not supposed to scope tonight. Instead, I'm supposed to uh, connect with actually Michael deeper yesterday. So I've been doing a lot of connecting with him this week. Tanisha said, that was insanely powerful. I feel that loopy feeling good. I'm so glad. So that means you are very, very, very connected. Um, and I want you guys to use the time after today's blab, since we're very much in, in the powerful Archangel Michael energy, to connect with him yourself and see what messages are there to come through, okay, about your life purpose, about your next steps. You both, Shruti and I both feel amazing, Sarah said. Awesome. You're so welcome. All right, so I want you guys to connect. I want you guys to have your own intimate connection with him after we get off the blab, all right? Spend five or 10 minutes. You can even um, Google a Archangel Michael meditation music and play that and connect to him even deeper, okay? When you feel him, you'll feel a very powerful force. He's like, he's like a force you can't ignore. When I feel him, I'm like, I'm like, whoa, okay, Michael's here. Like, it feels like, whoa, like that. And um, as I mentioned, he is blue and purple light. So you can visualize that. And as you guys know, we did the vacuum exercise earlier. And you can use that whenever you feel any feel for, feel fearful energies coming through. All right. Now, one thing that he said before the blab is if you feel like a crazy person, okay, if you feel crazy, he's saying, it's because you are crazy and you're crazy because you can actually change the world, okay? Only crazy people can change the world. So if you feel like a crazy person, if you feel like you've lost your shit, you don't know what the hell you're doing and what has compelled you to, you know, quit your job or even start your business while you're still in your job or whatever it may be doing, Know that that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. A lot of people are starting to be awakened this year, okay? Which means that all of you are meant to be in your teacher role even more than ever. If you are natural at teaching and being a teacher, it's not an accident. It's because you're meant to be a teacher on earth this time period, okay? You have been a teacher in many lifetimes before, all right? And now you're being called to awaken that part of you on earth right now, all right? So a lot of people feel like, you know, age can be an issue or not having the right certifications or whatever it may be can be an issue. But the thing is, your soul carries a lot of ancient wisdom that's already there. There's, it may be likely that, you know, you've been called to mature for your age a lot of your life, uh, that you've been called, you know, pretty wise. It's because you are an old soul and you're carrying a lot of information in your soul that's waiting to be born. So if you're watching this video, this is your call to wake up into your life purpose right now. All right. So Archangel Michael is going to help you with that. Is it fearful? Is it scary? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. If I can't, if I can't tell you how many times I've cried having started my business and being, I'm in my fifth month of my full-time business now. And I think the beginning was the hardest, like in January, I had so many breakdowns, but, um, I've had breakdowns almost every week because what happens is, when you follow your life purpose, it's very contradictory to how you've been programmed before, the way your ego works. Everything is different because now you're moving from a place of intuition. And it's likely that there's lots of things that you haven't done before from your intuition. So this is almost like a new way of living. 
So yes, it's going to be a huge shock to your system. Yes, you're going to feel like you've lost your mind. I feel like that all the time. You know, actually, even just earlier today, I had a breakdown. I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand this stuff. What the hell? I wish you could give me some better direction. But that's how Archangel Michael works. He only gives you one step at a time. So I had to come into a place of trusting and honoring that myself. You know? So it's like, I also have to... Uh, uh, what is it? Walk what you talk. Yes. So my one step was do this blab. I was like, okay, take a bath with salt. And I have a God box. So put the fear in the God box. Those are the three things that I was told to do today. So do I have any idea what I'm doing tomorrow? Not a clue. <laughs> I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. Living in your life purpose really teaches you to be in the present moment. Okay. And it's very scary. So I want to assure you that if you are terrified right now, it's completely normal. Okay. And that's why Archangel Michael is coming in even stronger inside of me and to connect with all of you because he doesn't want you to feel alone. Okay. Because you're not here doing this alone. He's going to help you. He's going to help me. He's going to help you. He's going to help all of us. Okay, so that's why he wanted me to do this blab tonight. So he can he so he can remind you all to call him in. Okay, he can help you. We just need to call him in. All right. Another thing you guys want to do is pay attention when a guy named Michael shows up in your life. It's a confirmation. It's direction, whatever it is based on what's going on for you. I know there's some times where I felt scared, you know, being out late at night or whatever. And my Uber driver's name is Michael. So I'm like, oh, okay, Michael is here. He's protecting me. I'm good to go. And uh, and there's some very, oh, and Michael is your son. Wow, Elizabeth, that's amazing. <laughs> so Michael is very present in your life helping you out. That's incredible. Dina said, story of my life. I wrote the I wrote the book on crazy, y'all. Yeah, girl. Oh, my gosh. If I had a camera from all those times, oh, my gosh, goodness, would not be fun. So let's see. There's a couple notes I have here. So another thing that came up before the blab is that this is also an awakening for you to step into your spirituality deeper than ever. OK, you stepping into your spirituality is what's going to help you on this journey. Living from the ego mind, it's not going to work because guess what? Nothing is practical or logical about what you're doing. Nothing is practical or logical about living in your purpose. So things that make sense to your spouse, your friends or people around you um, is not going to make sense to the steps that you need to take. So that's why building a stronger spiritual practice is what's going to help you with your life purpose even more. OK, I'm getting really serious about my spiritual practice now uh, I've been called in to get super serious about it and that's why Archangel Michael came in very strongly for me this week I'm doing the Archangel Michael detox as Shweta said and spirituality is really about stripping all of your bullshit okay all of the excuses all of the fears all of the hiding, all of the pretending, you know, all of the, you know, um, numbing your emotions, all of that. It's time for it to go because that's what's going to allow you to step into your purpose deeper than ever. And since I'm stepping into it deeper than ever, I'm going to take all of you on the journey with me. Okay. So you guys are in good hands with Archangel Michael. All right. So if you're here, you are meant to hear all of these messages from him. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to open up the seat for some Archangel Michael readings. All right, so if anybody would like to call in and get a reading from Michael, I'm going to use his, I'm going to use his deck and give you guys a message from him, okay? And... Again, I'll say if you guys want to read more about him, uh, his book here is The Miracles of Archangel Michael, okay? All right. So. Hi. Look, Hi. She oh. had a visualization while, while you were doing this. 
Oh, wow. You do that just now? That's incredible. Just making it. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. That's beautiful. All right. So, Shruti. I might not have video. <laughs> okay. That's fine. So I'm going to give Shruti a reading first, and then I will come to you, Dina. All right, Shruti, is this just a general message you want, or is there anything specific you is in your mind? You can just think about it in your mind, if there's a specific area of your life that you want to answer about. Okay. And call in Archangel Michael for yourself and say, tell me exactly what I need to know right now. Okay. The first card that came up is decide to be happy now. Okay. So that means not waiting for happiness when X, Y, Z happens, when that happens, when this happens. Mm -hmm. If you're waiting for happiness to come later, it's always going to stay later. It's always going to stay in the future and it won't come now. So he's saying that you have to decide to be happy right now. Okay. And when you make that decision, then the steps will fall into place of what that looks like for you in order to connect with yourself deeper. So here's the card. Decide to be happy now. Okay. And the prayer that you can use to call him in, it says, so these are all Archangel Michael. So the prayer that you can use is, thank you, Michael, for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Because what happens is, even though we may want to be happy intellectually, our body may not be allowing it. We may not allow happiness to come through because of different things in our life, maybe even subconscious blocks. So you ask Michael to help you release those blocks. Like, Michael, I do want to be happy now, but clearly I have some blocks. Help me release those, okay? And I will say, when you plant a seed, first the dirt comes up. So when you do start on different journeys and stuff, you know, Sometimes life might become a shit show first before it gets better. So if after this, you're like, well, I decided to be happy, but only shit's happening. So what the hell? Because that's coming up to be released. Okay. And things need to be moved out of your life in order for good things to come in. Okay. The next card that came up is believe and trust. So the universe is asking you to believe and trust more girls. Stop doubting it. Okay. <laughs> And what you can do is before you go to sleep, you can ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, please come into my dreams and replace my fear with trust. Replace my fear with trust. Because sometimes, let's be real, our fear is just too heavy and we don't know what to do with it. So what we do is we give it over to the angels. You're like, look, I can't handle this no more. This is just too much. I am so damn stressed out. I need you to take the stress away from me. I'm now giving my worry away to you, okay? You surrender your worry to the angels. You can say, let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Okay, the last card is this situation is already resolved. So if there's some situation that you're worrying about or that you're like a little anxious about, you're not sure about, know that the universe has already figured out what's going to happen for you. So instead, why don't you just take a little bit of a seat down and allow the universe to reveal it to you one by one, okay? So release that worry and allow the universe to show you rather than trying to figure it out yourself. Oh my God, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Instead, say, universe, reveal to me the next step. Show me what's next, okay? Mm -hmm. Instead of being like, instead of taking that burden upon yourself because you take the burden upon yourself a lot and you're like, I need to figure this out. You don't need to figure out nothing. You need to allow the universe to show you the way, mm -hmm. okay? That translates to patience, and that's not what is my. That's not my strongest suite. That your friend's patience, yeah. I, I, girl, I am impatient too. <laughs> like, where is it? And the universe is like, 
you need to surrender you need to allow so i'm like fine <laughs> so i have a girlfriend yeah thank you you're welcome yeah all right all right dina i'm all yours You can hear me, right, Dina? Here I am. Okay, cool. I can you hear me? <laughs> um, just whatever Michael wants me to know right now. Okay, cool. Thanks. Dina, do you take salt baths? Yes. yes. Okay. Keep taking them. Okay. There's just a lot of cloudiness in your energy. Mm -hmm. And it's not from you, it's from other people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't taken very many lately, so. There you go. So that's a reminder to do it. Okay. <laughs> I like these cards. So the first card says, Keep your eyes on your targeted intention, okay? We tend to get very caught up in the little details of life and little things and not knowing how things are gonna pan out, how things are gonna figure out. Um, I know for you, uh, you know, since you were in getting paid, what's going on with you? And, you know, it is frightening. It is super scary, the big leap that you've taken and you're kind of like, okay, well, what the hell do I do now, you know? Where's the money coming in from? Where are the clients? I don't understand. What the hell? I thought I thought the universe wanted me to do this. <laughs> then where yeah. is the shit, you know? I, I feel that <laughs> quite often and I yell at the universe for that. So, um, <laughs> you know, I think that it's all about the bigger painted picture. And I don't know if you've done this exercise before. Have you heard about the painted picture exercise? You can Google it. It's from a book. And basically um, what you do is you literally write out your ideal life and then you write out your ideal day. So your ideal day, you know, I wake up whenever, like for me, it's like, you know, I wake up whenever I want, you know, I go to the beach if I feel like it, I work if I feel like it, uh, I make money automatically because I have all the systems set up, um, I'm able to serve and help people, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like where I want to live, what I want to do, all of that broken down. And I did a scope earlier today where I said that I actually have manifested a lot of those things much faster than I thought I was going to, but it was because I got clear on the bigger picture and like what I was trying to create. So okay. Okay. if you don't have that bigger picture vision for yourself, you're gonna feel like you're drowning because you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm trying to do. Like it just all feels like too much. But if you have a bigger vision that's like in the back of your head, that like, this is where I'm going and the universe is gonna show me how to get there. You know, whether that's you wanna write a book, you wanna speak on stages, all of that kind of stuff. I, I've heard so many stories from so many people. They've gotten clear on that intention and then an opportunity just shows up and they didn't even really do any work for it. Like someone emailed them. Like I, I think um, I've said this before, but my first client ever came to me. I didn't have to um, do anything, you know? And actually mm -hmm. you uh, were very magical for me because when I first did Get Seen, Get Paid, I did not want to do the course. I was terrified. I didn't want to create it. I was just like, this is like, even though that was the life I wanted to create, I still didn't want to do it because it was like the resistance. And right. uh, if you remember the night that I did it, I, all I promised to myself and what the angel said was just announce it, just announce it, nothing else. And that day mm -hmm. you were on my um, uh, class that I did. And I said, okay, I'm doing early bird, la la la, you can sign up and you can email me. Uh -huh. I had no page set up. I had nothing set up, nothing at all. <laughs> and you literally uh, emailed me that night, even before midnight saying, um, uh, I'd like to be a part of the course. I was like, right. damn, it. <laughs> damn it. In the sense that, okay, now I need to show up. Like, I can't be hiding anymore. You know what I mean? So, that right. was very powerful for me. So, but it was because cool. I had a clear idea of the direction I was going. So, at some point, I had to create a course. I had to teach these classes. I had to put myself out there, you know? So, mm -hmm. have you done that yet? Like, have some sort of like bigger vision picture where you're trying to go? No. no, that's probably why I'm cloudy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Let's get clear on what it is exactly that you want to create. 
and and think of it in your wildest dreams like if you could have and do and be anything what, what would that look like for you like don't be scared to dream big okay when i did this with a client yesterday she was being like oh i feel like i should do this i feel like i should do that whatever uh instead of really connecting with what she wanted to do mm -hmm. uh sure you can come in as soon as i'm done with dina okay all right so let's see the next card says let go of fear now so for you right because you're in in, <laughs> in it right now there's lots and lots and lots of fear so for you you need to call in archangel michael more than ever okay you need to help okay. him not help him have him help you to clear out those fears okay right. um i okay. know it's scary because believe me i still i still feel it sometimes like even this week like i was saying like i was like i don't know what the hell i'm doing like i feel like i've done what i needed to till now but like now i've hit a plateau when i'm trying to figure it out and that's why this blab was born like michael was like talk about me I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so for you we need to really work on releasing that fear because working from a place of fear is not going to bring you any good results and you know that right right and last but not least i love this michael said make a commitment <laughs> okay. okay you know i think i think up until I think March was the last time I felt that maybe I'll go to the corporate world. Cause up until March, I was still like, I don't know, like maybe I should like, you know, cause I had gotten a really cool um, interview from this amazing company. So I was like, maybe I'm meant to like do corporate work for a little bit and I'll come back. But um, <laughs> after that experience and I went to the office and I was just like, I wanted to like, I was very underwhelmed, you know, like I was like, wait, I would give up my current life for this. No, thank you. Okay. And I think I became even more committed after that experience. And I think the angels did that on purpose for me to be like, you can't be half in, half out. You know what I mean? So if you're like thinking, like, right. oh, maybe I'll go back, then your energy is not fully concentrated in your purpose. It's still in that place of fear. Because if you were to go back, it's likely out of fear, right? Right. Not because you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I, I took, took a part-time part job doing you know, telemarketing from home, mm -hmm. and it sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> so. And you know what sucks even more is when you're living in your purpose, it's like when you're in a job that you don't like, it's even harder to live in your purpose because you're just like in a pissy mood. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're not feeling inspired. You're not feeling like good or whatever. So. All right. <laughs> So hopefully that hopefully that gives you some direction, girl. Yes, thanks it, so much. Write a letter to the angels tonight. Okay. And to Michael specifically. Okay. We'll, we'll do. do. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye. 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 Hi, Dan. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Would you like a message from Archangel Michael? Yes, please. Okay. Are you doing what you love right now? Yes, I'm, do I'm doing what I love. Love okay. developing. Yeah? Yep. <sighs> okay. Okay, so the first card that came up says, use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Okay, so anytime you're feeling confused or stuck, and it's interesting since you said you're a developer, it's likely that you do need to use your imagination for that type of work um, to, uh, you know, get the ideas for the next steps. So that's the first message, to use your imagination to help you see whatever it is you're struggling with, whether it's your personal life, your um, corp, your job, business, etc., whatever it is that you yeah. do, okay? Yeah. The second one says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy, okay? So what you feel inside, even though it may not match up to what people are saying around you or doing around you, the angels want you to know 
that your intuition is meant for you and you only. So even if it feels like it doesn't match up to what's happening around you, uh, yeah. they're asking you to trust the guidance that you're getting. And how intuition feels, it's it's a very little nudge that you get. You just feel this pull towards something, whether that's a pull towards a person, a pull towards um, a company, a job, or even a pull towards, you know, certain type of lifestyle. If you've been thinking about changing your own lifestyle in a certain way, know that that's all guided because that's actually going to make you happier. It's going to bring you to a place of more peace. Okay. Yeah. And the last one. Okay. The last one, Dan says to forgive yourself. Okay, forgive yourself because you've done nothing wrong. So if there's something that you've been holding on to that you feel that you're blaming yourself for or you just wish that you did a better job or you regret something, know that you did the best that you could in whatever time and space and whatever knowledge you had at that time. Okay, so the angels are asking you to forgive yourself and give yourself that permission you've done nothing wrong and to continue following that inner guidance that's coming up for you. All right. Yes. Regret is very toxic. It's very true. I feel like I could forgive myself every day. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right. Yep. Um, so do you have your own business or you uh, work for a company? I work for a company. Okay. Have you been thinking about transitioning out or? I'm thinking about making my own company sooner or later. Okay. Yeah. It's a nonprofit organization. Amazing. Yep. So follow that inner guidance. It's being guided for you to do that. All right. Thank you. You're so welcome. Bye. All right. I'm going to take one more. If there's anybody else who needs and wants a reading from Archangel Michael, Otherwise, we are going to close this up. So glad to have you all here. Okay, go ahead and call in. I wonder if anyone is still watching on scope. Hi there. Hey, the tax advocate. If you wanted a reading too, I could do one for you. I am going to, hold on one second, okay? All right, let's see if I can put this scope up here as Ryan dials in. Okay, now you can see me. Uh. Nike? Nike? Is it Nike? Nike? Oh, you changed your hand. Oh! It was like... I think I remember. Nike. Nike. Okay. Got it. Alright. Were you here for the whole broadcast? Yeah, it's totally fine if you're quiet, Ryan. Ryan, if you're not able to dial in, what I'll do is I'll just pull out the cards for you and talk it on the camera. And then you, if you want to say anything, you can respond in the... Um, you heard the two meetings, okay. You can just type uh, in the box, okay? Okay, cool. Because it looks like you're not able to dial in. All right, so just tell Archangel Michael to tell you what you need to hear right now. All right. Okay, so the first card that came up is 
the person that you're asking about is trustworthy. So if there's someone in your life that you've been kind of uh, wary of or doubting or being a little skeptical about, they're telling you that the person that whoever this person is, is trustworthy. So if there's someone you are going to invite for advice or whatever that may be, um, you probably have a better idea of what this card means than I do. I know when this card came up for me, uh, someone had given me guidance about something and I really wasn't sure if I believed it. Like I was like, I don't really know if this is really what, you know, what the thing is. But um, uh, when I pulled out this card, I decided to trust what this person told me. And I'm very happy that I listened to what this person told me because this person was right. <laughs> So that, that's what happened when it came up for me. So whatever that may be for you, okay? So the next card that came up is prayer will help this situation, okay? So if you've been struggling with something or unsure about something, know that the angels are asking you to call them in. Ask the angels for help. Ask them for guidance. Call in Archangel Michael. Pray and your answers will come to you, okay? And it'll be intuitively guided. You tend to, uh, I feel that you're you tend to distrust your intuition a lot. So try to play, play with it. Maybe play some intuition games and see if you can build some sort of trust with yourself when it comes to that, because I feel this level of distrust around that, okay? So again, prayer will help the situation. Okay, so the ne next card that came up is your children are watched over by angels. Now, I don't know if you want to have children one day um, and you're worried about, you know, um, having them, if you're going to have them. Oh, I cut out. It said, oh crap, I lost the card. It said your children are being watched over angels. Okay, so now this card comes up typically when it's referring to your inner child or the children that you're meant to have on earth. And the universe is assuring you that those children are being watched over angels. So they're being taken care of until it's time for them to arrive on earth. I'm getting a weird call. Okay. Okay. Um, so... Okay, cool. I'll come to you next, Nikkei. All right, Ryan. So that's what came up for you. And I'm going to wrap it up here. You'll work with that. Okay, awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Blab or play with it. Yes, play with it. Let's make life a playground. I feel like we take things too damn seriously, right? All right, so I'm going to close down this. I'm going to stay on scope, and I will catch you guys soon. You guys know I'm a marketing strategist and confidence coach. If you have a business, you are trying to grow, you can join my marketing group where I teach entrepreneurs how to um, expand their reach and grow their business. You can join at themarketingangel.com. Um, and join us in there. You're so welcome, Nina. I'm so excited for Archangel Michael to be working with all of us more strongly. Okay. All right. So yes, exactly. All right. So let Archangel Michael come in and clear out your fears. Okay. And help you get on your life purpose because it's time for you to be happy. It's really time for you to be happy. Okay. You deserve it. All right. Bye guys.